high school, there was actually a pretty good music scene around here in Myrtle Beach. We were playing, I don't know, three, four times a week, making money. I didn't have to have a job. I just played music. And then it just all kind of fell apart one day. I don't know why, but it's not a whole lot going on here anymore. Whenever I was researching how to build a bass, I, I would look at multiple different luthiers and the way they do things. Probably looked at thousands of different guitars just to, because I didn't want it to be like anything else. I wanted it to be my own style. A lot of things changed because I didn't have the right tools to do it with. You usually use a router to do a lot of the uh, like pickup cavities and the electronics cavity in the back and all that. And I started out just doing it with a, a chisel and a hammer and it took a while. The first one's a little more special because it, it was a lot harder to do. Well, as you're carving the wood, the grains change. So you can you can make a design all you want, but the wood sort of tells you how it wants to be carved. Well, whenever I finally finished my first base, I was a little worried because I'd never done wiring before. I'd never done any of it before. So that first time plugging it in and it actually working, probably the best feeling I've ever had. Just accomplishment. <laughs> 